Welcome to Think About It, where we have two primary goals. One, to get you to think about it, and two, to just make more sense than anybody on CNN. It's Thanksgiving. I want to take a couple of moments to send a special message of thanks to President Bush. He has certainly not been perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but there are some key areas of his leadership that I have admired greatly and would probably vote for again. That ought to go over well with all of you loons on the left. First and foremost, Mr. President, thank you for your dedication to the protection of the unborn. Your dedication to protecting life has been borne out in some very clear ways. And while all of us would certainly wish we had seen more and more and more, we also know that the opposite extreme has just been elected to office. And I shudder to think of the countless millions of young babies that will never see light because of the political stances taken by some. I admire your appointment to the Supreme Court of those justices who will stand for life and that it's truly near and dear to your heart. Thank you for that. Also, thank you for your dedication to the protection of this nation. While the loons on the left are crying about us listening into phone calls overseas to terrorists or they're, they're worried about the loss of civil liberties, I happen to think it's kind of cool that we haven't been attacked in over seven years. And it's very possible that your legacy will be defined by the protection of this nation in some ways. And yet you get no respect, no credit for that. Thank you. I know the war is unpopular. I know your decisions have not always gone over that well with those in the mainstream media. But for this guy who hasn't had to worry about going into a crowded stadium and have it blow up on me, I really appreciate that. And I'm also uh, thankful that you did not govern because of popularity or polls. Everybody in Washington, D.C. does that, and frankly, it's nauseating on both sides of the aisle. Mr. President, you clearly have been a man of integrity, one who has stuck to your guns, did exactly what you thought would best benefit this nation, even in those instances where we don't agree. I shudder to think of what the next few years will be like in this country as the far left takes control. But at least for the last eight years, I've known one thing, there was a decent, caring man in the office, even when we didn't agree. Happy Thanksgiving. And think about it.